Welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast, where we explore all things books, business, and bullshit. My favorite bees. I'm your host, the fairy coin mother, Sinquanta Cox-Smith of www.sinquantacoxsmith.com. Now let's get into today's episode. Welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast, season six, episode three. <laughs> I hope y'all volume wasn't up. Don't mind me. I just finished taking my tail comb and scratching up under this wig because, whoa, mm, 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 mm. I'm doing it right now. Don't, mm. nah, but for real, y'all. These weaves and things be itching, like itching, itching. What y'all up to? Did you have a good week? Are you still minding your business? Because I'm all the way minding mine. <laughs> I'm minding my business so hard, I don't even know what nobody else is doing. <laughs> and that's facts. Only if you call me and tell me. I have no clue and I don't really care. Because I am over here living my child-free life <laughs> and enjoying my man. I done got all them goalie gummies the the blue pack and the red pack <laughs> so what's happening to say and make it feel real good that's how i'm living right now today i am going to talk about red bubble and how you can make money on red bubble after we get through all of our shenanigans in this intro glad to be here on the mic once again with y'all and y'all tuned in have some really good information for y'all if y'all want to pause this grab some paper so you can take some notes i'm spilling some tea on red bubble and then sharing my experience you guys can get up on this platform and make you some money i'm all about you guys snatching the coins from home building a business building out a brand and not having to be the face of it i'm telling you guys all the things that i do that is behind the scenes that you don't see me promote and wondering what, how the hell is she making money if she don't promote shit because I does this paid in peace y'all don't forget paid in peace what time it is it's time for our rapid fire questions of the day let's go ahead and get into our rapid fire questions of the day again if you are new here our rapid fire questions are just questions i like to ask you can answer them for yourself in the text message to your group chat right now while you're listening to this podcast but it's just loosen me up before all of the good information that i have to give y'all in this episode so the very first rapid fire question of the day is what are your favorite lyrics of all times seems like yesterday we used to rock the show i laced the track you locked the flow so far hanging on the block for dough notorious ain't got to know that life ain't always what it seems to be Words can express what you mean to me. Even though you're gone, we're still a team. Through your family, I fulfill your dreams. In the future, can't wait to see if you open up the gates for me. Reminisce some time. Night they took my friend. I try to black it out, but it plays again. When it's real, feelings hard to conceal. Can't imagine all the pain I feel. <laughs> I'll Be Missing You is by far one of my favorite songs that I will rap from morning till noon like to the point where me and my cousins had to perform this song at a family reunion because this song just went so hard i don't even know what year it came out it had to been in 90 something but by far one of my favorite songs and let me tell y'all the next one so the next lyrics would be what would i be without my baby the thought alone might break me and i don't want to go crazy because every thug is a lady yeah 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 what would i do without the nights that you kept me warm had a girl had a cold world caught in the storm and i expect when you rip when you caught in the wrong and i expect when you trip because the love is strong and when you hit the block i hit the tempo when my pops asleep snuck in the back door baby boy we've been down since junior high so when life get hot in july it's the world against you and i we ball inside together and never fall from the heart knowing it will last forever when you told me that you would never leave me lonely so baby boy put it on me I love Put It On Me remix with Vita, Little Mo, and Ashanti. And Ja Rule, of course. <laughs> that is another one of my favorite songs. I'm just giving y'all all this entertainment today. I did not plan on that. But it's like, when you start the lyrics, 
it just flow and then you just gotta keep going now after i finish recording this podcast i'm probably gonna be blasting those two songs because now i'm hype <laughs> and i just gotta make sure my flow is still good that was the first rapper fire questions of the day along with all of my shenanigans in all of my entertainment pull it back just a little bit just a tad the second rapper fire question is must have purse item i never carry a big purse unless i just have to we're going to a basketball game i got my snacks and my drinks going to the movies got my snacks and my drinks um park stuff like that a little book bag but a must have is the aqua four lip gloss because lips be chapped and they look ashy and white and we love to take pictures and for some reason my kids lips is always ashy having that aqua four lip treatment on hand is a must along with some hand sanitizer if i have a purse that fits but the other thing it, i see it said must have but i'm gonna just go ahead down my list my airpods and a charger because my phone always did all right y'all let's go ahead and get into this episode let's get into red bubble i don't even know the definition of red bubble but basically red bubble is another print on demand website that has a zero dollar startup cost basically you can go to the website right now sign up for a free account and start uploading your designs and hopefully the goal is to make some additional income people have been able to make a supplemental full-time income but also that is rare i do make a good amount of money on redbubble but it is not like it's probably top four five in my list of print on demand and where my income comes from because it's pretty consistent but it's not always a lot i think the most i've ever made in a month was like a little over 132 dollars that's good but also as i go ahead and start to get into the specs i'm going to get into some red bubble tips i'm going to share some extensions and free tools i'm going to tell you how many red bubble shops i have and then we're going to talk about different things that i've learned that has helped me to make more money on red bubble I actually started my very first store on Redbubble in late 2018. And again, I'm going to tell y'all, this is what I did when my KDP took off. I took my winning things from KDP and I put it on Merch by Amazon. Once my Merch by Amazon took off, then I put it on Redbubble and Etsy. And those stores did exceptionally well. I have not really put my main niche on any other websites other than those four. I do plan to try to put it on some other websites that I do make a little bit of money on like TeePublic, maybe possibly Spreadshirt and I can possibly give like Cafe Press a try. But that is how I have built a brand. I built a sustainable brand. It's continuing to grow. I do drop new uh, designs with that brand and it is primarily my main focus because it's where the bulk of my income comes from. This does not have to be you because I have six Redbubble stores. One is my Coins and Connection store, one is my main niche store, and then one is a niche store that I created out of my love of like nature stuff. The other three is two brands that I wanted to start off and then for every website that I create, and showing you guys how to sign up for new accounts with Print On Demand, I always use the Dear Military Spouse brand. The six accounts, I've made sales on three. The other three are just like waiting in the wing to be touched <laughs> for me to do something with them. Eventually, I will focus on them, but they are not a priority. And then also, if this is you want to test out like a trend store, and then you want to test out a niche store, but have them separate. One thing that you should make sure you do, especially if you're using PayPal, send the team or the people at Redbubble email and say, hey, I'm using the same PayPal email for this account. Just because if not, you probably wouldn't get paid. And then you can also choose to use direct deposit. You can use PayPal and direct deposit, depending on how many accounts you have. One of my accounts, I use direct deposit. The rest, I use my PayPal. And that way, I'm ensured that I can get paid. So there's no confusion with Redbubble. One of the things that I have found to be more successful is just offering sometimes the same design in different colors. So say if I did all of these designs in black and I put them on white shirts or white backgrounds 
go and turn them into white designs and put them on black backgrounds, blue backgrounds, yellow, making sure you have a variety of your best seller. Cause then that can appeal to someone else who said, Oh, I like this black one, but I really wish they had it in white or vice versa. I have about 50 plus designs uploaded on my main niche store and on my other store, I have less than 10. But I, again, like I said, I've definitely made money on all three. In my coins and connections, I have probably at least 25 to 50 on there because it's my main brand that is visible. And I took all of my best selling designs and I put them on Redbubble and again on and on T Public. One thing you can do is do Google Analytics. So Google Analytics basically shows you the keywords and things and the traffic source like that to your Redbubble store. In the shop settings somewhere, it shows you where you can put your Google Analytics uh, number for your tracking and it'll show you like the terms that have was searched to find your store. And then you can basically compare that to the keywords that people are using to find your products and then and then figure out if it matches with the products they are buying. If not, it might give you new ideas of what you should start selling on your Redbubble store. One of the tips that I found very uh, helpful on Redbubble was making sure when you have your greeting cards, make sure you have them size appropriate. And I have about 10 Redbubble videos on my YouTube channel. If you ever want to learn more about Redbubble, just type in on YouTube, Simquanta and the words Redbubble. And I have all of these videos about the tips of changing the greeting card size, how to create patterns for Redbubble, and then also how to enable the hidden products that are on like the t-shirt. So once you go to upload your design, you'll see a little thing that says enabled. And on the t-shirts, I believe it'll, at first it'll say eight of 12 enabled. There's like the small checkbox under the very initial checkbox and you just click that and you enable and click all of the rest of the t-shirts. At the end of your upload process, your t-shirts will be on the kids stuff, the onesies and things like that. So it should say 12 of 12. So that was something I did not know when I first started Redbubble, which is a great tip to know because some of the, my designs are actually kid friendly and it would be nice to get them sold on like some onesies or t-shirts and things like that. I have a few sites that you guys can use to do some research for Redbubble. And one of them is called bubblescout.com. It actually has an extension. What it does is it puts it on your Chrome extension. And when you go to Redbubble account, you can find like the niche validation. You can find out what's the number one trending topics on the website right now. I believe the Chrome extension is free, but like to actually sign up for Bubble Scout to get all of the stuff, you probably have to pay the subscription plan. So I'm gonna see, this is $10 monthly and then yearly 100. So if that's something that you wanted to, you could do that. It was like $20 off if you do it yearly. I'm not an affiliate, so I'm not pushing, <laughs> I'm not pushing you to buy this or anything. Maybe I should, let me see. It says become a partner, earn up to 33% commission. Okay, I'm about to join. <laughs> By the end of this, the other tools that you can use is Bubble Trends. I've used that before. It just basically is a web page and it says, you just go to it and it says get Bubble Trends. And it kind of tells you what's the trends for today. What have people been searching today? And some of the keywords. And then in return, I would probably take something that I find um, pretty familiar or that I probably can use in my business. And I'll go search it to see like how many products are actually in this search term. And then the other one is just Redbubble uh, popular tags. It looks to be like someone who is creating this page and providing popularity stats, results, and things like that. And in return, you can buy them coffee. Those are just a few extensions and tools that you can use for your Redbubble business. As always, the search bars on most of these websites are very helpful, as in when it comes to searching. You go to Redbubble, you search in a term, you see the results, you look through the results, see what's on the first couple of pages, and see where your business can fit in. Also on Redbubble, it shows some of the tags that people are actually using in their listings. That is another way that you can compete with them as well. I guess I'm telling all the tea, okay? <laughs> some people just don't notice that. And I want to be here to help you make your first sale. My very last tip 
that I want to talk about what Redbubble is. You sh can do a niche store, you can do a trendy store, but what will definitely be amazing is if you can do a trending niche store. So the niche would be purple. I love the color purple. So say you did a store and everything in your store was purple, but say right now, okay, Free Britney is currently trending. Your purple store can create a free Britney sticker and it's still trendy, but still on niche for your brand. For the people who like the color purple and want to support Britney Spears, they can get a purple free Britney sticker. Bam. That's how you get a trendy niche store. Let's give you one more example. Say someone likes to um, cycle. They want like the unicycle. They like regular cycling bikes. They like cycling quotes. Put them in purple. Create a purple cycling bike. Create a cycling helmet, maybe with purple marble or swirl, or maybe how the, when they're in circle cycling competitions, how they have the numbers on their shirt, create that in like a purple way. You can trending, or in my case, cycling is like an evergreen niche. So you can have an evergreen niche store. These are just some examples that you can do. I do not have a purple niche store. If you guys see some purple stickers, on Redbubble, it ain't mine. I don't know like my cumulative amount of money that I've made on Redbubble, but it's probably definitely over 500. It could be over a thousand. I just don't keep track like that. I just know that I love the website. It's easy to use. It's easy to upload the design. And again, like I said, I have over 10 videos on Redbubble to show you how to set up a new account, show you how to resize your greeting cards, how to do prints, how to create stuff in made with over, just so many different things. I even think I have an unboxing with some Redbubble stuff. Lots of good information over there on Redbubble for you guys to look at and learn. If you guys have questions, feel free to write me an email, send me a message, and I can do my best to help you in and get you on the right track. Hey guys, today I'm here to talk about Printful. So Printful is an on-demand order fulfillment and warehousing service that fulfills and ships products, including clothing, accessories, and home and living items for online businesses. So if you've been following along on my YouTube channel or here on my podcast, you've heard me talk about print on demand and you heard me talk about Printful. I enjoy Printful and I call it my number one source for print on demand fulfillment and shipping. They're awesome with their customer service and I recommend them to anyone who wants to start shipping products with no startup costs. It's free to use and I love just getting my samples in the mail. I love seeing my customers super excited about the quality of their t-shirts and other items. So if you want to go ahead and join Printful, visit bit.ly backslash Printful CC to sign up. This segment is called Q Money Bag Start of the Week. Our Q Money Bag Start of the Week, we're going to be talking about this devotional journal that I purchased. It's 100 Days of Believing Bigger by Marshawn Evan Daniels. Y'all, it's been snatching my edges. I haven't been as consistent, but I do make sure I make up my days. I'm on like day 41 now and wow it it's been thought provoking very like helping me to dig deep and then understand why certain things happen holding animosity forgiveness pulling back your own identity i'm gonna just go ahead and read some of the like topics trust purpose identity was one disruption oh my gosh the disruption in your life belief and faith blessing blockers stillness Blessing and obedience, significance, courage, and I think that's it. So it goes through all of these different topics and they ask really good questions, but they also break down a specific uh, scripture, it just covers that topic. And then like the stories that she shares and breaks down that verse. And then there's a prayer after every prompt. And the prayers are so like, wow, I wouldn't even have think to pray like that. So I am on. A spiritual journey. I am spiritual. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. Um, I believe in manifestation. I believe there's a higher power. There's an afterlife. 
I believe all of these things. And I know that everybody is not the same. I am very respectful of everybody's religion and whatever you believe in. Because I'm not physically going to church like I was in Virginia. We had a great church that we went to, Destination, and it was amazing. I have found myself a online frequent visitor of One Church LA with Pastor Sarah Jakes and her husband, Tori Roberts. So I do watch their sermons and I listen to Sarah Jake's sermons if I miss it online and I do tithe at their church. That is how I give my blessings or I receive or not even receive. That's how I fill my spiritual cup, but along with this devotion. So before that, I created this journal that has scriptures about manifestation all through it. Now it's I I finished it. (laughs) It's done, but also it's a journey because it's, I'm not as consistent as I want to be, but I'm eager to learn and I need to just find the right way that will help me be consistent. And we can give God thanks and praise whenever, wherever, however. So I'm not here to judge. I'm sharing my experience because you could be in a spiritual rut as well and trying to figure out how can you break free? Like you want to praise, but you don't know how to. Sometimes we have to praise in the shower. Sometimes we have to praise by crying. Some praise. Sometimes we just have to praise by calling out and saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for another day. Thank you for keeping me. Thank you for just giving me these eyes to see and these hands to create. There's so many different ways that we can celebrate God and, and, and Christ and do whatever you need to do. I wanted to just share my experience because I definitely felt like I was in this spiritual rut. Like I wanted to be fed, but my spirit was not being fed the way it needed to be. And I think by doing this devotional journal, it is helping me to get back into that place. Because at one point, I don't know if it was 2019, every morning I would used to listen to Ja'Kalen Carr bigger every single morning before I started my day. It was my song of the day and I was consistent with that. And it would... Every time I would hear the song, it would just do something different or it would bring out a revelation in me that I was like, oh, you know what? Oh, that's it. I got it. And it just kept me in, like spiritually in, in a flow where I felt like things were happening and it helped me keep my faith. So again, I'm just sharing my experience. If this can help, I'll leave the link to the journal below if you want to check it out, if you want to get it. Hopefully it can help you in your spiritual rut as well. And until next time. Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to the Coins and Connections podcast. Don't forget to leave a review and join the conversation over on Facebook and Instagram using the hashtag Coins and Connections. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Cinquanta Cox Smith and at Coins and Connections. You can shop all merch at www.coinsandconnections.com. I love you more than I love this podcast. Peace.